Today is World Rhino Day. Did you know that? <laughs> well, I do now. <laughs> it's a day to celebrate all five species of rhinos, which have been around since the cavemen. So it's just in time for the big animal special day. A baby rhino was born at Whipsnade Zoo in London. Keepers have named the rhino Bali, the Nepali word for strong. Unfortunately, rhinos are a vulnerable species because of habitat loss, natural disasters, and poaching. So I, I have to admit, I knew nothing about rhinos before today. Now learned quite a bit. So Africa's rhino population has dropped by 93%. That is a huge number, and I didn't know this, a pound of rhino horn worth $60,000. To compare that, a pound of gold is worth just over $1,000. What are they doing with these horns? $60,000 is crazy. They're being sold a lot. Um, there's these falsely believed reports that these rhino horns can do incredible things, especially in Asian cultures where they believe that it cures cancer, it can cure hangovers, all these different things. So here's just a prime illustration of the problem. Just today, the Hong Kong Customs Department says it seized about 22 pounds of suspected rhino horns. Three passengers arriving from South Africa for customs clearance were arrested. Officers found cut up pieces of what they believe were these rhino horns inside their checked baggage. They believe they add, if they add up the three whole rhino horns, the value is about $260 million. Wow. Insane. So wow. much money. And if they're convicted, they would face a fine of $130,000 and up to a year in jail. But $260 million for what they believe are just three rhino horns. Nina, it's staggering. It is. I, I didn't know about the rhino situation either, <laughs> the, the rhino situation here, but I'm not surprised because I think humans, we have a tendency to find something that is worth money, and then even if we're not allowed to take it, we do, and then those resources are depleted. But you wonder how they would prevent that because by the time they get to someone in customs, too late. They've already right. done this horrible right. act to this rhino, and maybe it's just, a, you were saying, maybe a supply and demand thing, Kim. That, well, that's exactly what my thoughts are to tackle this problem as long as there's going to be that huge value on those horns, you need to go and tackle the demand side first and go into these cultures that are demanding these horns and to try to maybe have some sort of education or start there, though, because once the demand is gone, then these are going to be essentially valueless. They've tried some different things. They've tried poisoning the horns, so when uh, poachers take them that they're uh, useless. So they've tried dehorning rhinos. And that hasn't really worked. I and mean, the reality is, with the chance to have that kind of money, it's, a, it's unbelievable. Criminals money. are going to take that risk. They are. It's more than gold, more than cocaine. I mean, it's you're just... not going to you're not going to counteract that by having you know a, a rhino babies at a zoo or whatever. I mean, you, no. it's impossible to catch up with. In that. a year in jail. Yeah, big deal. That's nothing for 260 million. No, there's plenty sure. of people who'd be willing to do that. Right. None of us. No. <laughs> no we love the rhinos.